Please, move on to the next chamber. If you cooperate, I will give you a dog for your good behavior. I find my subjects prefer dog blood over the rats I normally give them. I want a dog. Well, I'm Crash Knight. This is Let's Play Vampire the Last Masquerade. In the last episode, I took out a whole bunch of Tong, and was then confronted by a man calling himself the Mandarin. Or was it Mandrake? I don't remember. In any case, I'm here, he's doing these crazy experiments on me, and I tried to get past these lasers and stupidly killed myself. Now, there's a harder way to get across, which is carefully. Uh, if you have celerity, which I can't find, it's a little bit easier. Your plan is resourceful. Your survival instinct borders on animalism. I'm curious about your innate abilities. Let us see what you can do. The walls are reinforced concrete, several feet thick. There is no other exit. Believe me, it is my design. Now, at this part, he's testing your regeneration capabilities by putting you in this room with, uh, these cutty things. If I walk in all the way, the door will fully close, but... Let's see if I can do this. If I'm just, you know, a wimp and stand on the outside, he can't close the door because I haven't walked all the way through yet. Now... I think I got it. There are three panels in the back. You need to shoot them with a gun. I don't know what the hell you do if you don't have any bullets, so... Just make sure you have freaking bullets before you come here, I guess. I can't tell if I'm hitting them or not. Gonna have to go in closer. Oh well. Hopefully I won't die. The thing is, if I do die, I need to, uh... I can't load in here, because if I load, those blades will stop. I mean, that's another way to deal with it. If you're a wimp. So if you just save in here, load, those blades will stop. Oh, that blade stopped. Does that mean I got the... That must mean I got the panel. Only the most simple creatures can survive dismemberment. I am told. Yeah. You can regenerate parts of your body. I'd much like you've shown great resilience so far. Let's see how you do against some live targets. Proceed to the next room. I have died in this room before, so I was just Sometimes. being paranoid. Does that hurt? You gonna open the door, jerk? Jeez, I'd take your time, why don't you? Didn't end here. Please, don't disappoint me. That guy's carrying a cross. They're trying to see if crosses will hurt me. They do not. The Helsing hypothesis tests false. Can't eat him because he's in a suit. Fine. Well, when God fails, put your faith in the gun. Proceed, Commander. Move up in a better position. Putting away gun. I can never seem to knock them off. It's Go off. Off the cliff. There we go. Fancy. Sledgehammer. These guys are too armored for the sledgehammer. Alright. We'll go classic. <laughs> Sword beats gun. I see you. Hiding in the corner over there. Let's pick up the shotgun ammo. You are turning out to be a very useful guinea pig. But we have a conflict of interest. You continue to endure even though it's my instruction to incapacitate you. This calls for a more drastic approach. Continue to the next room. I'm very enthusiastic about this next. Which door are you opening, kid? There's like 80 of them. 
Shouldn't be calling him kid. He's older Many than me. regimes use electricity to torture information out of their captive. Are you kidding me? You gonna open the damn door? Your kind as well. Or will the voltage have results similar to fire? Let's find out. I hear the sounds from the next room. I just don't see the door opening. There we go. Once again, I believe that, uh, that wasn't a gun at all. Now, if you stand in the water with the electricity, of course, you're going to get shocked. I think those are the things I'm supposed to shoot red. I don't remember. Uh, first person. Is it that? You have demonstrated considerable mental and physical acumen. And I'm quite perplexed how something that should be dead can display such strong survival skills. Let's begin the final test. Step final test is me drinking your blood! Now, since there's nothing that'll reset here, might as well save. Stand by. Run a check on the extinguishers one more time. I've already determined fire is a weakness of your kind. I would like to know more about the psychological effect it has on you, and how it may be exploited. Yeah, fire can definitely screw you up. Extinguishers check. Recording devices check. Start the fires. The start. The fires are starting. You just, you just stay there, buddy. Subject is uncooperative. This may be a side effect of its condition, or a residual personality defect. There's my personality defect, jerk. Crack shot. That's my personality defect. <laughs> I'm not concerned by your gunshots, buddy. Hi. Oh, come on. I can't feed, but I'm so hungry. <laughs> I've broken out of your little cage, buddy. Now it's time to have some fun. No one's innocent. Not listening to you, you're talking in slow motion. hell is this? Guess it's a coffin. Okay, I guess this is a prison cell with a coffin in it. I don't know. That kinda makes sense. Just kinda. Uh, in here. I'm sorry, am I prolonging this? Let me make it all better. Now, I went back and talked to Wang Ho, and apparently he can be seen... He was seen walking out of the temple of Ming Zhao, the leader of the Kui Jin. Pretty sure she's the one who hired him to find out how to kill vampires. Probably gonna investigate that a bit further. And look who it is. I finally found the man I've been looking for. They get you too. Now I've got no excuse. A Nosferatu getting caught by a bunch of humans. <sighs> this is a new low. Yeah, great job, buddy. Because of you, I had to tear up all of Chinatown. I paid for my mistake. 
The experiments, the torture, that voice. You don't know. You don't know. Whoa, take it easy, man. Let's just get out of here. Wait, we can't go yet. There are servers here. We need to hack in and delete all of their research. Should be a mainframe on this floor. I'm a decent hacker myself, but how about you take care of it? Fine, I'll do it. Watch my back. Any hearts are still beating when we're through, I'll rip them out myself. <laughs> You're speaking my language, buddy. Let's do it. That's right, I'm adding my own dialogue that I feel is more appropriate to my character, because I'm a dork. Whoa! Security guards have some machine guns. Dodge, dodge. Love it when they die in three hits. Blood buff. Succeeded. Difficulty of ten. There's the computer, buddy. Wait, you're just gonna. I'm just gonna stand there? Fine, I'll do it. Lazy jackass. Status. Am I deleting these? Is that it? Is, is that it? I probably have no idea what I'm doing. It's probably not one of the computers that we need to deal with. But take that. I've, I've deleted their emails. That'll screw with them. Let's go. What was it? Oh, wait. Is this what's in this room? Awesome. Almost missed it. Knew there must be something in here with a difficulty that high. Oh, wow. I need an extremely high research skill to do this, and I have no idea what in hell it increases. My research skill is... where is it? Seven. Eh. Uh, I'll probably never get to read this book. Though I do have 17 experience. Presence level 4, go. 20% of mesmerized. If someone's mesmerized, they stand around like an idiot, which is means you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. Alright, clearly I'm not going the right way. This is where we came from, man. Why is that crap still locked? I am confused. Almost confused enough to start pounding on your face. Because I believe you have infinite health. Locked, locked. There we go. I'll hack it also. Let's go. We can both hack it. Oh, okay. Dirty. Gotcha. Hey, stop right there. Oh. Pathetic. Man, way to have, like, permanent potence on. I don't know the hell you're doing that. I guess he's an older vampire. Must be this door. Hacky hack it, brother. That was the last of them. Let's get out of here. What about the doors? The password is Crane. Okay, someone's shooting me in the back, so call Gary. Will do. And <laughs> thanks. Hey, hold it, freeze. Wow, he knocked down the door. Alright. Feel my presence. My presence is now known. Oops, sorry, bro. <laughs> you can take it, though, right? Hey, hold it. Who said, hey, hold it? I'm hungry. Hey, stop right there. I has a hunger. I have a big, big thirst for human blood. Whatever. Sure, there's a meat sack out here that I can snack on. Man, I am, uh, getting close here. Who could this be? 
Hello? Are you interested in saving money on long-distance calls? Uh. <laughs> you done real well bringing our boy back. I got your info, hero. Yeah? The same information I gave your prince, I also traded to the Giovanni for a bit of... juicy gossip. You both had an equal opportunity to take it. They just had a bit more initiative. The Giovanni? If you're going to play Jihad, you need to do your homework. Knowledge is power, and power has a price. But seeing as how I've already got what I want from them, I'll give you a freebie. Tell me about the Giovanni. Oh, you're going to love this. They've got skeletons in their closet. Literally. <laughs> I should have played the cat skills. Incest, organized crime, death cults. That's the Giovanni. Spaghetti and corpses, boss. Spaghetti? Never mind. Tell me a secret about the Giovanni. The Incaran sarcophagus isn't the only occult item they're hoarding. I hear they've got a collection that'd make Alistair Crowley come back from the dead. That is, assuming he isn't already sitting on a shelf somewhere over there. Gross. Where can I find the Giovanni? Oh, I'll tell you. And if you're foolish enough to go there, well, don't say I didn't warn you, boss. They have a mansion in the city. I'll draw you a map. They're having a reunion. Anyone who isn't a Giovanni shouldn't get within 50 yards. I'll take my chances. Thanks for the info, boss. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw this coming a million miles away? Well, I sure as hell did it. <laughs> you get em, boss. You give em one for Gary. If you should survive and ever need any information, come back and see me. I'm always here. And everywhere. Yeah, I'll remember that. Later, Gary. Alright, the deal is sealed. I now know the location of the Incarn Sarcophagus. And I know the location of a tasty... tasty human that's standing by himself. That was embarrassing. I missed my first feed attempt. Oh well. Now, you have an increased chance of failing feeding attempts on strong opponents if you don't have a high brawl. So even though I'm not using brawl too much, it's a good idea to have uh, a few points in brawl, even if you're not going to use it, because then you can feel real easily, feed real easily. If you have a, uh, if you have a 5 in it, you'll pretty much never fail feeding unless you, like, physically miss the angle. So let's look at what we got here. Alright, this can finally be completed once I go to the Giovanni Mansion. Uh, okay, these are all of the stealth missions for the Nosferatu. I think I'm going to go and try them right now. I'll probably just fail them, and then I'll be done with them. Uh, that's already... Oh, okay, that that's also the Giovanni quest. Bad luck, farmer. Let's do that real quick. I'll see you at the place where I risk rescued Kiki for, from. Okay, I think it's the store, the one that had a level 10 lock picking. I can just go down. There should be that sauna or whatever the hell this is. Indoor spring hot tub. Gigantic hot tub. It's probably a gigantic hot tub. And I'm supposed to put the bad luck charm in the locker with the black circle around it. Alright. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, sucker! Yeah, and I was looking through it. You got a problem? Do something about it. Huh? Oh yeah? I'm crazy, sucker! I'll kill you, I don't care! I'm already dead. I suggest you get out of my face, fat boy. Hey! Really? Try it again. Oh, one more time, one more time. No, this is how it's done. Sorry. That was kind of uh, immoral of me to use a sword. Let's try that again. Up. And then roundhouse kick. Yeah, that's how you kick. 
You're resilient. Oh, you damaged me. Good for you. I'll give you a free one. Not too well. Well, he certainly had bad luck. You saw the bad luck, didn't you? I love that I'm strong enough that I can just totally shrug off uh, punches to the face. Alright, now this is the other way to get in here if you don't uh, have a ridiculously high lock picking skill. You can't just run to the front door, you just go down that alleyway there. All well, these people look so tasty. Though it'd be kind of gluttonous at this point, I have full blood. Now I just need to go back to Creepy McCreeper phase. Alright, Creepy Man. You are always welcome here. About that talisman. Did the seed take root? I saw the guy, and he attacked me. And I, you know, killed him. <laughs> ah. Hmm. That is assuredly bad luck for him. The cost to my customer was quite high. They will be pleased to hear this. As before, accept this with my gratitude. You knew that was going to happen. <laughs> if you can't make a man walk into hell, make the demons come to him. How relevant of you to bring up hell. You're a menace, and that's exactly where I'm sending you. <laughs> Die! <laughs> um... I... Okay, getting the hell out of here and never returning. Getting the hell out of here! Let us never speak of the old man again. Speaking of the old man, you don't actually have to kill the person that you gave the talisman to. You can avoid him, but if you do that, you get less experience, I think. So, it's good to just kill him. Man, I have a lot of crap, don't I? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna try... Which one of the stealth missions? I think I'll try the computer hacking stealth mission. I'll see you back in Santa Monica. Alright, I'm back at my apartment to read an email that the Nosferatu hacker left me. Not the one I just rescued, but the one from before. Let's just see how my ghoul's doing. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better, like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. See you later, Heather. I'm... This is a very creepy relationship, still. Anyway... <laughs> Email. Alright, we got two of them. Awesome. I, uh, swear I read this already, but I guess not. And, alright, I gotta start deleting some of these. Alright, that's better. Okay, there's the information on the first place that I need to go and do. And, what is this? Okay. The prince is promoting you. Okay, I don't know if I've ever done this quest before, so... I'm gonna have to look up how to do it if I, if I even want to bother, I don't know. Oh, it looks like we have another email from a friend. Beware the Black Queen. I swear I read this too. Did I do something weird? I don't know. Now, the Black Queen, I'm assuming 
is Meijing, the Kuei Jin leader. Ooh, a cheap Rolex. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's from Fat Larry. That's cool. <laughs> All right, let's do the uh, let's do the stealth mission. Let me correct what I just said. Let's fail the stealth mission. The Giovanni, by the way, are probably my favorite. Well, they're my second favorite evil vampire clan. My favorite is the Asimites, who aren't in this game, sadly. The Asimites are a pretty rare clan, I guess I understand. The Asimites are basically assassins that, uh... practice Diablery. They eat other vampires to try to get themselves closer to Cain. Um, so where was it? She said it was a cross for... You move. Across from the asylum, I think. Is that it? Yeah. I think this is it. Why can't I enter? Oh, dear. The key's in my mailbox. I'll be back here after I get it. What idiot crammed all this stuff in? Ooh, money! Okay, so now that I have the key, I can try the mission, but I'm gonna have to leave it till next time, because, uh... I don't want to make a 40-minute video. I'm Cross Knight, see you next time.